I have time for one more video while I'm in Taiwan. Now, if you've not seen any of these videos of film first film, I take two Nikon F100 cameras and I load them with a roll of film in each um, and then I put on the cameras 50mm 1.8D series lenses. So the cameras are identical. I shoot one camera in aperture priority with spot metering and then the second camera is just basically in manual mode and I copy all the settings over so the exposure and everything is exactly the same and I try and compose the images exactly the same as well they're shot within about 10 seconds of each other so my memory is pretty good in that range now what I'm going to do here I'm going to test two films one of them is my favorite films for landscape and everything else is T-Max 100 or 100 T-Max from Kodak now I've actually been able to get hold of Acros here Fuji Acros um, which I've been wanting to shoot this for quite a while and they actually got it in stock here I bought quite a bit 120 film I've actually got quite a lot of 120 film, but that's for another project. We'll cover that in another video. But what you're going to see now is a slideshow of these two films shot at exactly the same time with identical cameras and identical settings. And you can see how they compare to each other. Like I said, I've never shot Acros, so I'm quite excited to see how these images look. Now, the first image you're going to see is of a color checker. Now, somebody recommended this in my last video, so I went out and purchased a color checker. So I've shot that with both films. So you can see the gray scale and everything else, and basically, you can make your own mind up with the film. So you'll watch a slideshow now, and then after the slideshow, I'll be back in Auckland in my gallery, and then we'll discuss about the films and some other things about the Atcross and what I've got coming up for future plans for Atcross 120. So I hope you enjoy the slideshow. Now before I talk about the two films you've just seen in the slideshow, I want to remind you guys you have a chance to win them in 35 and in 120 format. I've got the 120 here in Acros and T-Max 100 and I've also got them in 35mm. Now all you have to do to win them is to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. And then in two weeks I will pick a winner and I will post that winner on my community page on this channel. You contact me and I will send you these films anywhere in the world free of charge. I pay the postage, you don't pay anything, I will send you these films because I want to get more people to try films. And like I said, this little experiment I've been playing around with over the last few weeks has been going really well. And it's been more for my benefit, I think, than yours, but more and more of you are enjoying this. To put two films up against each other, shot with two Nikon F100 cameras. Now, somebody asked me the other day about the lenses I'm using on the Nikon F100s. Now, they're identical lenses, the cameras are identical, and the lenses are identical. They're 50mm 1.8 D-series lenses from Nikon. Now, one of the cameras is shot in aperture priority with spot metering. When I take that photo, I copy those settings over to the second camera, which is in manual mode, so you get identical settings with both photos. And I try and do them within about 10 seconds of each other. I've got it down to about 10 seconds at the moment between the two cameras, which is pretty good. Now, it does look a little bit odd when you're walking around shooting with two identical cameras and you're shooting the same photo twice. Let's talk about the film. Um, I'm a huge fan of T-Max 100. Um, it's probably one of my favorite box speed 100s films in black and white. The grain on this is beautiful. It's got a really nice grain to it. It's always been a reliable, film for me. I've never had problems with Kodak film at all. Some other films I do have inconsistencies but Kodak has always been very very reliable. Now a lot of people have recommended this to me which is the Acros which you've just seen in the slideshow and I've never got to shoot it until I went to Taiwan. Um, I was able to pick up some 35 there and I've also got some 120. As soon as I scanned both rolls, put them into the computer and processed them with Negative Lab Pro. Now both rolls of film were done with identical settings in Negative Lab Pro. If you've not seen Negative Lab Pro, check it out. There'll be a link down below. It's a really good add-on to Lightroom for processing basically your negatives in color and in black and white. It works really well and it's very, very easy to use. Um, I was quite shocked at how good this Acros looks. It has a very distinctive look to it. Um, 
I'm not sure I'd use it for every situation, but definitely for some, I can see this can be a great benefit. Now, that is actually part of the reason why I have three packs of Acros 120 here and the Hasselblad 503 CW, which I've purchased a few weeks ago. Um, this is actually for a project that's been spinning around in my brain for a little while here in New Zealand, and I'm hoping to start that in a few weeks. Um, and that's why I've got the Acros M120, because that project is going to be shot with the Hasselblad, because I want the square format, to be truthful. Um, I do like my Mamiya 645, but for me, I grew up around my father, who was an amateur photographer, and his magazines and everything, and medium format was always square to me. I've always seen it as a square format, because you had your Rotoflex and you had your Hasselblad. So I'm just kind of like the square format of medium format, and the Hasselblad gives me that. And they're a beautiful camera to use. It has a unique feel to it. And yeah, seeing the world in a square format is um, yeah, a bit unique, I would say. So that's going to come up in a few weeks, but I will do a video next week on the Hasselblad and the accessories I got with it and what it will be used for. And then hopefully in a few more weeks, you'll start to see my project unfold, which will be happening around New Zealand. Now, what I want to know from you guys is what films you want me to put up against each other next, black and white or in color. Please let me know. And I will try and get hold of them here in New Zealand. If not, I can order them from overseas and bring them in. And then we can carry this on because I'm really enjoying these videos because I'm, I'm actually quite excited when I scan these and then process them to see the difference, especially when they're shot at exactly the same time, the same cameras and the same settings. So leave me a comment down below on what films you want me to put up against each other. And I will do my best to include that in an upcoming video. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Um, and again, like I said, you can win these films. You just have to comment, like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's easy as that. And I have some um, other special videos coming up very soon on some other giveaways. So keep an eye out for them. Thank you so much for watching.